All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. One of the cases that you guys have been asking for for a lot, finally got them in. It's a little bit late, but they're finally here. And let's go ahead and take a look at the Rhino Shield Solid Suit with MagSafe. Now, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Now, this one right here is going to be the black version, but they sent a few other colors. We're talking about ash gray, cobalt blue, sage green, and a violet color. And we'll be sure to slap these on at the very end of the video so you can see what all the colors look like if you want to get one that's just not your standard black, all right? So let's go ahead and take it up by the packaging this is what you get when we're talking about new rhino shield packaging but let's go ahead and get to what we are here to look at and this is going to be the solid suit now one thing i'm gonna go ahead and jump right off and start talking about it because when i first reviewed this for the iphone 13 pro max version a lot of you had a lot to say about that camera design right here and in my opinion no you know what I mean? Like, I get what you're trying to do because you already know when it comes to Rhino Shield cases, you can pop these rings out and change them with different rings to different colors so you can match your phone up and kind of do all of that. But it just looks a little off with that one little dip down there. And you have so many people questioning, is there a, 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 something wrong with when the manufacturer in this case happened? All right. I think that's what a lot of people think, that this wouldn't really be a design choice, but more so of a design flaw. So... Yeah, the camera ring, I'm personally not a huge fan of it, but I do like how you can pop it out and take it out and swap it out. And honestly, I'm not even going to pop this out because sometimes it's a pain to get back into the camera housing. But anyway, flipping it over, if you are a solid suit lover, now this is what you've been looking for, and that's going to be that MagSafe. You're going to get your shock absorption material. You see, if you look on the inside, it's going to be on the inside and like all along this back. So you'll definitely be good when we're talking about drop protection. It's the solid suit. You already know what time it is. Of course, you're going to get your interchangeable buttons. You can pop these buttons out. Go ahead and buy the button pack from Rhino Shield. And you can swap the color of these buttons out with anything that you want. That's one thing that I always enjoy about the solid suit line is the how much you can customize it. And I can appreciate the camera ring, but... Let's kind of stay away from that. Let's just keep going with the button. So looking at the weight, we're going to be talking about 42 grams. So, you know, I don't know if that's heavy to you. It's not too bad for me, but, you know, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and take our phone off. Let me go ahead and wipe this thing down because it's a little bit hideous right now. And let's just go ahead and slap it on the case. Now, one thing a lot of people complained about, about the old style solid suits were they were too hard to get off. It's, it hurts my fingernails when I'm trying to take it off. In my opinion, I used to like the old design Rhino Shield. It did perfectly fine. It was le legit the best fitting case that was out there in the market when it came to an iPhone. But now, it switched it up for a little bit. And let me show you what I mean. This is this now, all right? Now, this isn't terrible because it still fits very well. But now you get more of a bendy or flexible case where the previous Rhino Shield was very rigid. You cannot move that thing. No areas budged in it. That's what I like. I hate that there were so many complaints that they made this change. <sighs> it is what it is. It is what it is. Now, it may, you, some of you may think I'm going into this review very negative. This is just my frustration because the solid suit was one of my favorite cases when it was the very hard, rigid style case. But let's see if this case right here can kind of uh, win me back over. And let's see if we can get me back on a W column when we are talking about it. So taking a look at the back of it, this is what you're working with. Now, they're going to be plain colors right now you can go on the website they have different designs and different things that you can choose from to kind of spice it up a little bit so you don't have to run this black case with nothing really going on so take a look at that camera let's go ahead and take a look at that lip when it comes to the camera it looks like you get a pretty good lip let's just go ahead and step through the case so on that top side it's going to be completely closed on that right side you're going to get your rhino shield branding right here power button one thing about the power buttons and the buttons, the firm liner show cases, they've all worked perfectly well. And that's what you can expect with this case right here. On the bottom, you see your equal cutouts, which means they're not proportional to the actual speakers. They have the same equal cutout on the bottom when it comes to the camera. Volume up and down works A1, a little more tactile than the power button, but they work just fine. Mute toggle switch, very wide, very easy to get into. And if you want to rock a lanyard, they got a little lanyard port right there on that side. And just like I stated, you flipping over on that back, when you're talking about that camera protection, you do get a little lip. So you will be protected a little bit when you are talking about dropping it down on his back or sitting it down on his back or anything like that. Now, taking a look at that lay on the table protection, all right? Now this is a solid suit. And this has a, I would say, I'm trying to see if it kind of has that ski ramp 
effect as it gets narrow on the bottom and up on the tops but either way it does have a nice little lip around the top of it so you're definitely good face down different things scenarios like that and you're not going to be worried about resting it on the actual screen itself so it does have a a little lip that goes all the way around it so that's pretty good now with this new style of the solid suit how does it fit on the phone because that's my number one concern now since it's not the old school rigid case that we got before how snug does it feel on the phone now and when you talk about the top side Still very snug. Of course, it's going to give a little bit. Coming along the sides, very snug still. So don't let the fit fool you. Don't let the bit, the case being able to flex really fool you. It still does have a very, very tight fit. And even down here to the bottom, it has a little bit of give right here, but nothing too dramatic. So the fit is still good. The, the Just because the case type of rigidity is a little bit different now, still doesn't really hinder the fit of the Rhino Shield Solid Suit. It still has a very, very good fit, and I'm glad that that wasn't the case. We can't come from a great fitting case to a mediocre fitting case. This is still staying with that great fitting case, and then when you pop them on, I mean, it's easy to get this case off now. You don't have to fight and struggle no more. Boom, you got the case off. So for everybody who loves it, had a little bit of time trying to get it on and off, things are different now. You can get this case a little bit easier on and off. Now, how does it feel in your hands? I mean, it feels okay. This material, in my opinion, Opinion is a little bit slippery all right i would have liked to see some type of texture some type of stippling on the side that's one thing about rhino shield cases they've always had a little bit of a slippery characteristic to them would have just loved to have seen with this redesign a little bit attention to grip because i know rhino shield have seen the comments and people used to call the rhino shield solid suit the slippery suit and it is still a little bit slippery so i would like to have a little bit more grip when it comes to that when you're talking about the around it and how you know thick it is it has a little bit of thickness to it but it's not a crazy deal breaker just adds a little bit of thickness not much i think you'll be good to go but if you are a fan of the plain black version right here you're going to get some fingerprints all right and they're not the easiest to get off okay i mean you can kind of get a rag kind of wipe they're still there so these fingerprints they're going to be on you and it's going to be kind of hard to get them off unless you have some type of wet electronic wipe or something like that now the, the 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 MagSafe <laughs> stu stu stuttering for the MagSafe on the Rhino Shield Clear version was legit the strongest MagSafe magnet that we've seen in a very long time, and I'm here to say that the magnets are very strong. Well, they're decently strong. As you see, it does pick this up. You see, it does kind of drop it. If I give a little down motion, it has a decently strong magnet. Now, this is a strong magnet. I can't say decently. It's not as strong as that clear version, but it is very strong. I'm impressed with the magnet strength from the Rhino Shield Solid Suit, which I was hoping that it wasn't nuked with the this version, the Solid Suit version and the clear version. The clear version still has a very strong magnet. And we'll talk about the Rhino Shield clear version in a later video this week. But when it comes to the Solid Suit, you have a very nice, con confident magnet. Very, very strong. You don't have any problems worrying about MagSafe. And of course, trying to on some of the accessories. It looks works just fine. You can really feel the strength of that magnet when you start to pop different accessories up here and use it. So very strong magnet right there when it came to that. And definitely when it comes to the Apple MagSafe battery pack, you have a very, very strong adhesion right here. No issues at all. You're really going to have to pull and tug to get it off. Very, very strong fit also when it comes to that Apple MagSafe battery pack. Now, should you buy it, all right? Should you buy this case? Now, you know this case is a little bit more on the upper tier when it comes to cases. Now, with this case, if you want to go pick one up today when this video drops, it should be Cyber Monday, and they should still have some amazing sales going on with it, but you also can get an extra 10% off if you use my code technically and get that extra 10% off. But that code is, for, is, is what it is. But today is Cyber Monday, and I think you can stack code. So go grab yourself one for sure. But it's a solid case. For the price point, being up there a little bit more on the higher side, you know, it's really contending with a lot of things out there. And it really has everything going for itself. You have strong magnets. You have a very nice fit. You have nice tactile buttons. I just, the camera ring kind of annoys me a little bit. In the, and that's really it. I think it's a good, I think it's a solid case. I really do think it is a solid case. And I think it's, I think it's worth the money. I think you can go out there and get this and you can be satisfied if you are a solid suit person. And the only thing that you was waiting on was MagSafe. I think you're satisfied with this. But Rhino Shield, the camera thing right here, just make it a line and just make the line straight. We don't have to do the little geometric design that's going on right there. Let's just keep it a little bit simple and let's just clean it up a little bit. But outside of that, very nice case. You know, I just like to see a little bit more, little bit more grip change that camera ring up and 
you're good to go. The fact that you can swap the camera ring and the buttons to match, that's the things that I really like when we are talking about customizing when it comes to this, all right? So let me go ahead and slap the rest of the colors on the phone so you can check them out. So if you want a different color, you can go get yourself one. This is gonna be violet, all right? So for people out there who are rocking that deep purple 14 Pro Max or 14 Pro, if you like purple, you get your girl, you get this color, there it is, man. This is gonna be the violet color, Rhino Shield solid suit sage green all right so if you're a fan of green there you go this definitely gives me old alpine green vibes and matching the green with the green when it comes to the 13 pro max but this is going to be that sage green very nice shade of green if i can say so and this is the cobalt blue really like this blue right here i can really see myself pairing this with like some white buttons or yellow buttons or something like that really making this color pop but this cobalt blue from Rhino Shield, this is a nice, nice blue shade. And last but not least, here it is. This is gonna be your ash gray. So if you wanna mix it up with a little contrast a little bit, there you go, rock it with the gray version. But yeah, here are your colors for the Rhino Shield Solid Suit. Not sure if they make any more colors, but like I said, if you wanna pick one up, use the code technically over on the website, grab yourself that 10% off. And if you get one on Monday, you can get a little bit extra percentage off with that Cyber Monday slash Black Friday deals that's going on. So go out there, get yourself a one, stay locked in, lock, comment, hit the subscribe button so you know I'm bringing you the accessory videos for the 14 Pro Max. Y'all be safe out there, catch you on the next one. Later.